The 11th cranial nerve or the accessory nerve is often considered as transitional nerve between cranial nerve and spinal nerves. It has got the branchial efferent component that supplies the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle. The accessory nerve has got two roots, the cranial root and spinal root. The cranial root of accessory nerve has a nucleus in nucleus ambiguous. It has got ipsilateral and contralateral innervation. The lower motor fibers arising from this nucleus goes via cranial root of accessory nerve, passes between olive and inferior cerebellar peduncle, exit through jugular foramen, unites with vagus nerve and distributed to pharynx, larynx and soft palate via pharyngeal and recurrent laryngeal branches of vagus nerve. The nucleus of spinal root of accessory nerve is located in the spinal nucleus in the anterior gray column of the spinal cord of upper five cervical segments. They exit as multiple rootlets at these upper five segments, ascend up through foramen magnum, traverse across the posterior cranial fossa and come out with the cranial root of accessory nerve through jugular foramen. Shortly after that, it gets separated with the cranial root and descend down in the neck, supplies sternocleidomastoid, crosses across the posterior triangle of the neck and supplies trapezius muscle. Clinical testing of spinal accessory nerve can be done by one of the following tests. First one, ask the patient to shrug the shoulders against resistance. This will test the integrity of the spinal root of cranial nerve and the trapezius muscle. Ask the patient to put the hand on head. That will test trapezius with shoulder abduction beyond 90 degrees. And ask the patient to move the chin towards one shoulder against resistance. This will test the contralateral sternocleidomastoid. Lesions of spinal accessory nerve results in paralysis of sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles. Sternocleidomastoid muscle atrophy resulting in weakness in turning head to the opposite side. Trapezius muscle will also undergo atrophy and that results in grouping of shoulder on that side. Thanks for listening. We shall see you in the classroom.